Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about some important graphs uh, in cylindrical. So, some graphs in cylindrical coordinates. So, in cylindrical. And these are the ones that um, can be represented uh, quite easily uh, in cylindrical coordinates. So, it kind of shows you um, why we even have them, like why they're useful uh, to have and why, why we learn them, why we study them, etc. So let's start with the first graph here. Um, so here's the z-axis. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm not a master at graphing in 3D. So here's our x and here is y. And this is perhaps the most important one. Um, so first let me graph this. So I'm going to draw a little circle here in the xy plane. And then I'm going to draw a line like this. That's pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha, draw a line like this and have a little circle here. So yes, this is a cylinder. So this is the graph of a cylinder. And so in rectangular coordinates, that graph is x squared plus y squared equals 9, right, equals 9. Z can be anything, so it's a circle, right, in the xy plane, this is a circle, and Z varies, so it just, it just goes up and down, right, because Z, Z can be anything. And the beauty of it is, in cylindrical, it's, this means R squared is 9. Recall that um, X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared in cylindrical. You can take the square root of both sides, you get plus or minus 3, I'll just pick 3, you can use negative 3 as well, so R equals 3. So a cylinder in three-dimensional space can be represented by r equals three in cylindrical coordinates, hence the name cylindrical. So really, really cool stuff. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Let's look at another, uh, another example. So again, we'll draw the z-axis, and then here is the x-axis, and then here is the y-axis. All right, and then I'm gonna draw something that looks like this pretty good. Something like this. It's pretty good. And then I'm going to put some dots here. So it looks kind of like a parabola, except it's in 3D, right? This is called a paraboloid. So paraboloid. Paraboloid. It's like a 3D parabola. Let's look at the equation. So the equation in Cartesian is x squared plus y squared in rectangular, sorry, rectangular coordinates is 4z. And you can write this um, in uh, cylindrical. You know that this piece here is r squared, so r squared, and that's equal to 4z. Then you can take the square root of both sides, and taking just the plus, we get 2 square root of z. So that's pretty simple, right? It's a pretty simple representation. Uh, that's 2 square root of z, and write that a little bit bigger. 2 square root z of a paraboloid. That would be a paraboloid in cylindrical coordinates, right? So this is the equation of a paraboloid in cylindrical. Let's look at some more examples. Let me switch colors, make it a little bit more uh, exciting. <laughs> so here's the z-axis. Uh, I think this is really cool already, so it's really cool to look at these, these weird graphs. So there's z, there's x, there's y. This one's really tough to draw, okay? It looks something like this. That's pretty good, like this. It's pretty good. I'm gonna draw a little shape down here and a little shape down here and this my friends is called a hyperboloid so it looks like a hyperbola but in 3d so hyper hyperboloid 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 and this is x squared plus y squared minus z squared equals one that would be the equation in rectangular coordinates and you see that this is r squared so this is r squared minus z squared equals 1. So this is r squared equals z squared plus 1. So very simple equation for a hyperboloid uh, in cylindrical and cylindrical. Uh, a couple more and then we'll call it quits. Um, so this is just an intro video. I want to keep it short just to show you some graphs that are useful uh, to know in cylindrical and explain the purpose of it all, right? So there's z, x, and then here's y. And I always have a hard time graphing this one. So basically, I'm going to do something like this. And here I'm going to have an angle. And my angle is theta equals c. Okay, theta equals c. And then I'm going to draw what appears to be a vertical plane. So theta equals c is a vertical plane. 
is a vertical plane. Okay, it's a vertical plane. In polar, it's a line, right? So, um, so the line becomes a plane in three dimensions. So that's that's the idea there. So very very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. One more, one more to finish. Last one I want to show you. Um, this is the z-axis. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. Okay. And then I'm going to draw something like this, like this like this and like this okay and then uh, we're gonna have some little projections here onto the XY plane just to make it look a little bit better and this is going to be a, a horizontal plane so this is a horizontal plane horizontal plane and if you think graphing in 3D is hard, um, if I can do it, um, you can do it. <laughs> I can barely do it, and so it means you can do it too. So I'm a terrible, terrible artist. So z is equal to a number. That's the equation of a horizontal plane in cylindrical. So that's it. The purpose of this video was just to introduce you to some, some basic graphs. Let's go back and look at them. So wow, really beautiful stuff. Um, so I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.